and comments. The Honourable Member for Courtney Albany. Madam Speaker, I want to thank my colleague from Granville for his speech. And, and Madam Speaker, I just want to uh, uh, make note in this House that between tw 2006 and 2011, uh, floods cost Canada about $120 million. Between 2010 and 2015, it was $360 million. Between 2016 and 2018, it grew to $430 million a year. Madam Speaker, now we're over a billion dollars. The PBO projected back in 2014 that if we kept going the way we're going, that floods and fires were going to cost us $43 to $50 billion a year, Madam Speaker. What a deficit to leave to future generations. Now, the member talked about investing heavily and, and, and taking bold and courageous action. They're investing $2 billion over 10 years, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, bold and courageous is cancelling the Trans Mountain Pipeline, $17 billion. Ending oil and gas subsidies, $18 billion. Let's start spending the money, the $43 to $50 billion a year that we're leaving on my kids and, these, and most of your children and grandchildren now, instead of shouldering them with the deficits. The Conservatives talk about inflation. Just wait. Insurance rates are going to go through the roof. Let's protect future generations by investing now in the right thing. The Honourable Member for Vancouver Granville. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, bold, and, bold and decisive action, Madam Speaker, means implementing a plan that was supported by Canadians in the last election, which is what we are here to do. Madam Speaker, bold and creative, bold and responsible action is making sure that we are able to beat our, our targets as we've committed to doing. And bold and decisive action, Madam Speaker, means ensuring that we are working with all stakeholders, provinces, Indigenous communities to make sure that we are able to take on the fight against climate change and deliver results for Canadians.